Okay, what we're going to try and do now is um, hardwire the Mac straight into the XR16. Work on the XR18 exactly the same. A um, couple of things to note here is, um, let me pick this up a minute and just come over here. This switch here, right, make sure it's on Ethernet. Okay, before we start, but doop. Okay, right. The next thing um, to do is to make sure your Wi Fi is off on the Mac. I've done this before when the Wi Fi was sat on the house Wi Fi on the Mac. Tried to attach it and tried to switch it over. It wasn't having any of it. So make sure it's completely off before you start. We're going to just connect it with one of these. It's just an adapter straight to an Ethernet cable, USB in the side of the Mac, and then into the Ethernet connection on the top. Okay. Um, on the screen at the moment, um, I don't know if you can see that. I'm closing. There's, there's nothing, nothing connected at the moment. Um, but it will be in a minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the XR on first okay and um, then i'm going to plug the usb into the mac and come out into the ethernet okay we're on the other side to do that hang on a minute let's uh, just plug this in so that's that on okay take this plug it in Good if you get the right way, yeah. Okay, and then the end here, and you should get a flash of light. Um, the little, the little light should flash now and again, other than that, or not. But I'm not going to do anything with the Wi Fi because we're just direct, aren't we? But it says self assigned on this USB port here. And it says here, I want to show this because people, people keep asking online about this. And, um, yeah, using DHCP. Now I have not touched anything. Um, it's assigned all them itself. Um, so I've not done anything. But if yours has got something else on there, um, there's loads of things here, isn't there? I presume if it's off, switch it to using DHCP and um, it should work. Okay, so that's that's in the settings network. Okay, so now we've done that, what, what I'm hoping, and this, I'm just trying this now, so uh, what I'm hoping is when I double click this XR app, it'll open and it'll boot and it'll be there. So let's have a look. Okay. It's loaded up. I have no idea whether it's connected or not. So um, let's back out a bit. And, uh, yeah. How about that? Yeah. So I have some music. So I'll just play some music. It's like it off mute. Okay. I know that it should come through on these channels here. And nothing's coming through. So go to setup and you'll see the xr16 sat here click it turns it blue okay over here it says connect go here press connect and again it will say sync from always do mix it to the pc so the last settings that are in the xr come over to the mixer not unless you've got scenes saved and you want to do it another way and you want to send it the other way but anyway I always do mix at the PC. There you go, loaded it up, and um, we'll just go along these these top things. AP access point I don't use, so WLAN. Um, it's on DHCP, okay, and the LAN ports D, DHCP, 
and the rest of them I don't use there anyway. Okay, so we'll just shut that for a minute. And now you can see green music. And that's it, and we're directly connected to the XR. Um, I hope that helps um, some of you that are looking at this. And if your router ever did break down live, um, and you had the adapters to do it and direct connect it, the Mac, well, bingo, um, you can do it. And as you'll notice, the light's flashing all the time over here, which it should do. I don't know whether you can see that on here. Yeah, you can see that a bit, can't you? Anyway, I hope that helps you. And um, any questions, go to IT. <laughs> Cheers.